So not only will we invent new tools using AI, like the ultrasound, and, and so I, you know, the world is at a certain state of the art in terms of AI. Dramatic improvement from the models the size of GPT-3 going up to the size of ChatGPT-4. Has been progress in things like picture recognition or speech recognition. They won't be the experts, but they have to be part of that discussion. Predictions. Almost 50 years after he co-founded Microsoft, Bill Gates remains a prominent figure in the technology industry. It's also important to listen to influential industry figures, even if they had connections to the now deceased physical offender, Jeffrey Epstein. Gates' prominent remark on the road ahead in 2024, which includes observations on innovation and artificial intelligence, is summed up in a recent blog post. Because Gates is a tech entrepreneur and has a pulse on cutting-edge technology, his posts offer valuable insights into his mind and continue to have an impact on the industry as a whole. According to Gates, the AI boom of 2023 is just the start of a technological trend that will significantly influence the near future. Dramatic improvement from the models the size of GPT-3 going up to the size of ChatGPT-4. You should all pay attention because it is so dramatic how it improves white collar productivity. AI is very hard to put back in the bottle. The six page post contains 28 instances of the acronym. He believes AI will emerge from its current niche, which is a bit geeky and takes center stage. In high income countries like the United States, I would guess that we are 18 to 24 months away from significant levels of AI use by the general population, he states. Gates anticipates that the adoption of AI in developing countries will surge as well, with a quicker uptake than that of many other technological advancements. Gates acknowledges that 2023 marked the first time I used artificial intelligence for work and other serious reasons, not just to mess around and create parody song lyrics for my friends. Even if they haven't tried their hand at being Weird Al Yankovic with a chatbot, this will sound familiar to company executives who are actively involved in building AI solutions. Small and medium-sized enterprises are currently investigating the various ways AI applications could benefit their organizations. If a company isn't already thinking about using AI for business decision-making or customer-facing applications like chatbots, Gates' excitement can be a push to adopt this technology. Innovation While Gates used the word innovation frequently in his letter, he also connects it to AI. The reason for this is that AI is expected to supercharge the innovation pipeline. With reference to developments in electric power, automobiles, aircraft, and the digital sphere, Gates asserts that innovation is the reason our lives have improved so much over the last century. Additionally, he slightly brags, saying, we are far more productive because of the IT revolution. In order to concentrate on his work with the Gates Foundation, Gates resigned as CEO of Microsoft in 2000. He believes that the next step in innovation will be to accelerate development projects that have a tangible, financial, and social impact on people's lives. The examples in Gates' note are specific to those areas because the Gates Foundation concentrates its efforts on eradicating poverty and promoting health around the world. AI applications are already used in the drug discovery process to go through vast amounts of data extremely instantaneously, cutting down on the time it takes to bring new medications to market. According to Gates, AI may be used to treat high-risk pregnancies. He adds, the AI education tools being piloted today are mind-blowing because they are tailored to each individual. AI may provide each learner with a personalized tutor. He also believes AI could simplify access to medical information for all healthcare professionals. So not only will we invent new tools using AI, like the ultrasound, they won't be the experts, but they have to be part of that discussion. We will provide an AI doctor. We will provide an AI tutor.
strategy assessments for the Gates Foundation. AI at Work In his blog post, Gates stated that 2023 will be the first time he uses AI for serious reasons or at work. In contrast to prior years, Gates stated, the world has a better sense of which jobs AI will serve as a co-pilot for and which ones it can do itself. This year, a number of studies have been carried out in an attempt to identify the talents and industries that sophisticated AI will most likely affect. There is proof that utilizing technology as a co-pilot in the workplace can help workers advance. We didn't have this an AI that could read and write. I kept challenging. The world will be richer and, you know, can work less and have, have more. And so I was shocked that ChatGPT4 used in the right way and be pretty powerful. While some businesses have created internal AI tools to support staff, others encourage staff to use publicly accessible technologies. Regarding AI in the workplace, Gates conceded in the blog post that he wasn't an expert. He stated, if you haven't figured out how to make the best use of AI yet, you are not alone, acknowledging that it can be challenging to break bad patterns at work. AI in healthcare. In addition, Gates outlined a number of medical queries that researchers worldwide were attempting to address with AI. He claimed that the project was both ambitious and still in its infancy. According to Gates, the majority of it might not come to light in the upcoming year and some might never leave the lab. There's a bigger teacher shortage in Africa than elsewhere, a bigger doctor shortage. And, and so I, you know, the world is at a certain state of the art in terms of AI. We will provide health advice um, and directly. According to him, the work is laying the groundwork for a massive technology boom later this decade. A few of the initiatives that Gates mentioned included using AI to treat high-risk pregnancies, fight antibiotic resistance, and assist individuals in determining their HIV risk. Run by Gates and his ex-wife, the charity Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has contributed billions of dollars to medical research across the globe. The foundation has concentrated its efforts on creating, producing, and supplying vaccinations to the world's poorest nations. AI in Education In the next five to ten years, Gates said, AI might change education by providing content that is customized to each student's preferred learning style. He proposed that by understanding what inspires and deters pupils from a subject, AI may be used to engage students. Although he predicted that instructors wouldn't become obsolete, they might need to adjust to the new technologies. In his latest piece, Gates described the AI-based teaching tools that are currently being tested as mind-blowing. He said that programs like Conmigo and Mathia were amazing and that they will only get better in the coming years. Gates expressed his excitement at the prospect of bringing the technology localized to students worldwide, citing AI tutors that are tailored to particular cultural circumstances. Summary of the blog The Gates Foundation, which works on global health, education, gender equality and more, is dedicated to helping the poorest people. AI tools can accelerate the process of creating new medicines, and the Foundation is working on addressing health issues that disproportionately affect the world's poorest, such as AIDS, TB, and malaria. The Gates Foundation is working with partners to use AI technologies to improve lives in low- and middle-income countries. They are exploring ambitious questions such as combating antibiotic resistance, bringing personalized tutors to every student, and addressing antimicrobial resistance in developing countries. AI has the potential to improve treatment of high-risk pregnancies, HIV risk assessment, and medical information accessibility for health workers. However, there are significant hurdles to overcome, such as scalability and adequate back-end access. Global Health can provide valuable lessons on making AI more equitable as the product must be tailored to users. The Gates Foundation is working to reduce the gap between the rich and poor worlds by leveraging AI to deliver game-changing technologies faster. Malnutrition is the world's largest health inequity, affecting one in four children. There has been progress in things like picture recognition or speech recognition. Well, AI, I'd say that 
you know, it's going to raise ge productivity generally. And uh, you know, 10 years ago, I, s I started funding things like TerraPower. In a few cases, ritual regulations may make it roll out slower. The gut microbiome, including bacteria like B. infantis, plays a crucial role in nutrient absorption and growth. Researchers have discovered that dysfunctional gut microbiomes can cause inflammation and hinder nutrient absorption. Foundation partners are testing a powdered B. infantis supplement to help infants grow and achieve their full potential. The next step is reducing manufacturing costs and broader regulatory approval. Research has shown that a baby's microbiome is connected to their mother's and addressing inflammation in the womb can have additional benefits for the woman, placenta, and developing fetus. Introducing a probiotic supplement to an expectant mother could put her child's gut on the right path from day one. The climate conversation has entered a new era with a growing focus on adaptation and clean energy. Nearly two dozen countries pledged to triple their nuclear capacity by 2050, with progress made on next-generation nuclear technology like TerraPower. The 2024 elections will significantly impact global health and climate, with nearly 60 countries expected to elect leaders at all levels of government. The United Nations' goal to cut childhood deaths in half again by 2030 will be missed due to COVID and other setbacks. Policymakers must prioritize pandemic preparedness and focus on climate innovation and clean electricity. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.